Hey guys, today I'm going to go over the different healing tools that are available on Photoshop CS5. The healing brush is a very powerful little tool that allows you to do cleanup and enhancement on pictures. Generally, the tool will be best used for photographs of people, and the higher the quality of the photo, the more powerful your tool becomes. I will demonstrate a few of its abilities on this headshot of this handsome anonymous man. To access the healing brush tool, click and hold the band-aid button in the toolbar and click on the healing brush tool. Do not click the spot healing brush. That is a different tool with similar effects that has its own video. When you have clicked on the healing tool, zoom into a spot you want your image to change. Since my goal here is to remove a mole on his ear, I want to sample a piece of skin as close to it as possible. Hold down the Alt key for the PC or the Option key for the Mac. Notice the cursor will turn into a crosshair. Click on the area you want to clone, which is the word for copying the content you want to use, and let go of the Alt or Option key. With the mouse, click over the area you want to get rid of, and voila! Very simple and very powerful. You can also do this in brush strokes, like shown. Now let's use this tool to make a small enhancement. As you can see, the bottom of his lip has remains of what could be old scarring or discoloration. Now I'm no advocate of changing who you are, but an actor's headshot should always have little adjustments like this to make the subject look as good as possible. Take the sample tool, Alt or Option click on the area near it, and click and drag over the area. Pretty damn flawless. Just to show how powerful and smart this tool is, I will sample a part of the face that has no earthly business in the part you are trying to fix. Despite the fact that it took a sample from his eyebrow, it still sampled the color relatively well. This might come in handy for creative effects such as adding hair to other parts of the face or body. Regardless of how it's used, it's pretty amazing how it works. The top options panel allows for some customization of your healing tool, which includes brush size and softness, compositing modes, which can have different effects for added subtlety, source options, and layer options. Layer options is important if you are working with multiple layers. Unless the All Layers option is selected, you might sample a piece of your image that you didn't want to. Try this tool out for yourself on a picture of yourself. You will be amazed of its potential. Thanks for watching. You can send any requests or questions about Photoshop to requests at mahalo.com, and please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below.